All right, today I have a Honeywell Home Pro Series thermostat, and I'm going to show you how to use this. Now, these are just some basic controls on how to use this, but let's go ahead and get through it. So if you look at it, there is a clock right here, a timer. Let me zoom in a little bit more so you can see it a little bit better. There is a clock right here. It sure currently shows the time. It's following a schedule. It shows the uh, temperature right here and the temperature it's set at right here. So if you look at this, the heat is currently on. It shows it at this corner right here. And you have options for a plus and a minus on either side, as well as a mode menu, as well as a fan button right here on this particular thing. We're going to start off by going to the mode. If I click this, it turns on, and I'm able to change the mode. Currently, it's I just switched it to cool switch it into emergency heat and I switched it to off. You can turn the unit off by going all the way down right here and it goes to off. Turn it back on, it's back on and it's set to temperature 72 degrees following the schedule. And I can adjust things by going over here to menu and fan. But the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over here and go to fan to show you the controls with the fan. By simply pressing that, the fan is on and the fan is on auto. Now, when you have the fan on, it's constantly running. When you have fan on auto, it turns on when the heat or air conditioning turns on. Now, right here, it currently says the heat is on. Now, remember the mode. I go through off, heat, cool, and emergency heat. All right, so we have that. Next, I'm gonna go to the, I can adjust the temperature and it changes the temporary hold I'm adjusting the temperature right here. Now, I'm going to cancel this, or I can go ahead and press the hold. Change it from temporary hold to permanent hold. I can cancel out of here. Goes back to following schedule. Press the menu, and it goes to a program but, uh, screen. I can either press the home, or I can do select or I can press this right here and I can change the time. Now I go here, I can actually change the time. If I want to change the time, I go select and then I can adjust this by pressing, I can change it from a 12 hour to 24 hour, back to 12 hour and then select it, okay? And then once I get here, I can adjust the time by simply going like here, pressing up or down. If I keep on pressing up, go ahead and select that and then I can adjust the minute hand and then I can save it all right here so I had, did that so I went through the time and then I'm going to go to the next setting I can change the date select that and I'm going to go ahead and change the date all right so it's right there and then I'm going to select change December 20th 2022 I could do that go ahead and adjust that I'm not going to go through that that's pretty much self-explanatory I'm going to do that, select, select, go through all of that, and then it saves it. All right, so I have that, and then it has the date. So those are the selections I have of date, did the time, and now I'm going to go to the program. I didn't go through that. So I'm going to go through here, and it says program on. Now I can turn, go through here, and I can change the program. I can go ahead and select either Monday through Friday schedule, Saturday schedule, Sunday schedule, or go back to here. So whatever I want to do, I go ahead and select it. And it does all of this right here, shenanigans right here. I can do it the wake. The wake, what temperature I want it when I wake up, I can go ahead and change that. I can do the away, I can do the home, and I can do the sleep. And I just can just go through all of this. All of this is on, off. All right. Go ahead and select all this. And then if I need to get out of that, just go ahead and press the home button. And I'm back on this right here. And it's it giving me an indicator of the heat is on right here. And I can adjust the temperature. And I can change it from temporary hold to permanent hold after I get out of this. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. And then change this to cool if I needed to or emergency heat. I'm just going to turn it to that. And then go right there. And then that's how I operate my Honeywell Home 
Pro Series thermostat. Now you want to go ahead and read your instruction manual so you know exactly how to do it and not follow this instructions that I just gave you. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. Hope this is helpful.